Welcome to Tevi Ganja Broadcast. Get informed, yeah. Don't get around. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It is September 6th, Wednesday, hump day. We are halfway throughout the week. One more show left for this week. I stream Monday through Thursday, 8.15 p.m. Eastern. If you are watching this, you've clicked on this, you are watching this live or later, please, please. It is very hard to find crypto individuals like yourself. Please subscribe smoke that like button it does help our channel grow um and you can join our goon gang we are growing and continuously uh finding uh good crypto plays as well as technical analysis being done by yours truly teddy and if that's something that interests you yet again please subscribe so we're going to continue on here with the market let me share my screen so we can stay informed so guys no change no change meaning we are exactly where we were at the beginning of the week to now 1.04 trillion straight sideways um trading bitcoin currently 25 7 you know we'll continue to monitor that and why uh actually let me just refresh this so we get our btc in here so 48.18 Ethereum about the same dominance, no change here, but BTC's price continues to go down. So why is that? And we need to talk about that. Uh, Selmo Fud, what up, Teddy? What up, Selmo Fud? Nice to see you, buddy. What's going on? We're gonna power through the seat map right to the trending because I do want to talk about Shiba Inu. Uh, we have Pepe and we have Solana uh, right here. Um, three crazy things that are just pumping like anything. And of course, we talked about stacks continues making uh, moves upward. So I am keeping an eye on it. We got into stacks, I think around 44 cents. We're continuing uh, to see uh, benefits. But 44 cents is right now at 47. So it seems like it's good to see this while the rest of the crypto market's going sideways, but it's really not that crazy um, of an increase, you know, 5% today, 5% tomorrow, you know, um, but Stacks has been doing consistently uh, going up. <clears throat> Red Sox, Teddy, Teddy. Yes, Red Sox, tell me what's going on. What's going on? That TG is very informative. Gucci boy, very active. Yes, dude. Everyone in that TG is constantly checking in. Um, we have a Ganja Goons telegram for crypto trading. And if that's something that interests you, it is invite only. Please find a way. Reach out. Find me on telegram at T-E-D-I-G-A-N-J-A. -A. You can join our crypto trading group and uh, be informed and even ask questions. And that's exactly what we're there for, you know. We've all been in the same positions as you, and we just want to share our knowledge so you can make informed decisions. Um, so nice to see trending coins of Pepe. Love to see Shiba Inu. Uh, but obviously, trending does not necessarily mean uh, the coin is doing well. It could be trending for the wrong reasons. Uh, currently, Shiba Inu continuing to make positive trends in their blockchain. Um, whether it comes to price action, eh, I don't know. You know, that's that's a hit or a miss, depending on who you ask. Um, I don't think it's as high as it could be, but it has made significant um, moves since uh, the last few days. So glad to see this finally do a small uh, change, but not to, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not waiting on it, basically. All right. So um, futures, futures, futures. One thing I wanted to uh, continue to keep track of futures is if the shorts increase, guys, people are exactly the same on BTC and ETH. They are not um, actually BTC just changed on the one hour. I just had this. It was a 30 percent. So people are even feeling more long on BTC. And it's quite interesting because uh, there's been a few articles that have came out 
uh, indicating that there could be a death cross. And we'll talk about that as well. Is BTC going to form a death cross? Why are people feeling bullish right now? Is this the lowest price we're going to see BTC? This is literally uh, where my head's at and what I'm trying to figure out. And that's something, you know, you know the answer to. Please share it with the goons because currently uh we do not know oh yeah whatever happened to you know was it doing well oh, yeah sorry adhd all right so that's it for market let me go over right to the news not too much news today but that is expected considering um what's going on with uh sbf so one of the main things sbf is back at it again he's begging he's begging he needs to be released teddy he needs to be released so uh, there'll be a three judge panel um, and they're going to listen to him. Uh, and basically they're uh, while also denying his request for oh, the clerk of the court said Wednesday while also denying his request for immediate release. The timeline and next steps will is not immediately clear. Oh, so I guess this already happened. Oh, I thought it, I thought it hadn't. Winfrey's motion for pre-trial release goes before three judge panel the former oh did they they've updated it okay got it yeah so that's exactly uh what i was trying to see hey is this guy gonna be released again uh it sounds like he got denied so the next uh the clerk of the court said wednesday while also denying his request for immediate release so this is the one for within the three judge panel so maybe it hasn't happened yet so Maybe there's still hope. There's still hope, Teddy. You can't properly prepare for his October, October trial. They claim their client can't properly prepare for their October trial from jailhouse bars and therefore needed to be released. That motion is separate from the appeal of Judge Louis Capone's re revocation of Bankman Fried's bail. Last week has built us to brief on the current situation. No. Yeah, they've updated this, but let's see. Uh, yeah, so that was one. The other one is the Death Cross article here, which I found quite intriguing. Uh, if, in fact, there is a Death Cross. Let me see if I can actually zoom in on this for you guys. Uh, give me the chat. No, get out of here. Give me the chat, Teddy. I just want to see the chat. Um, so this is the formation of the 200-day uh moving average and the 50 day moving average and they're saying uh wait what the heck? dxy so sorry this is us dollar right here B btc's is coming closer to a death cross and usually what happens on a death cross goes down buddies and it's already been trending sideways and as i've said i'm not expecting any positive news for btc so i can totally agree uh with this death cross uh, what do we like? You we like it bigger? You like it bigger? Uh, we'll make it smaller. 125. There you go. Oh, now it feels too big. Uh, Teddy, you blinded me, Teddy. Uh, let me see. Wolf. Yo, Dynastic Wolf. Nice to see you, buddy. We're just chilling out, relaxing, watching the happenings of BTC and really reviewing the news because there isn't much happening in the crypto markets, as you guys know, uh, we're pretty much uh, relying on some hope that, you know, big change is coming and people are going to throw in all their money into crypto. And unfortunately, I still don't feel it's the right time. So when I say, hey, how do we navigate these markets? You know, this is one of the things where futures trading comes in. You're finding those small wins on small time frames. Or you're doing spot trading and you are a true degen, uh, diamond handing till whatever, you know, or you're DCAing along the way. It's all up to you how you do it. But okay, I don't like this. This is way too zoomed up. Give me, is this normal? This feels normal. Now I can't, now I don't know what I was actually at. Broader crypto works modestly. Yeah, so that's it, guys. There's nothing else in the news. You can read all the clickbaity articles you want, but uh, nothing else happened. Uh, let me just go right over to the chats. The chats, Teddy, you got to tell me about the chats. We're going to start off with Bitcoin. Um, and primarily, you know, they talked about 
the death cross, the impending death cross, it's not looking good for Bitcoin. It hasn't for quite a few days. We've been hovering over around this uh, price um, for some time. We've dipped below 26. You know, we've came back up. Uh, we're finding good support at the 25. Uh, three two, but you know our level of support from the triple G indicators being twenty five one six six. So two triple six seven being level of resistance. We're gonna see what happens, um, and I'm just keeping my eye on it right now. Completely bearish. Even the triple G indicators are showing a bearish move. So I am just not feeling it one bit, and we are gonna continue to wait. Because it's not, I feel like it's just a matter of what day is this going to decide uh, to tank, you know? I don't think anyone's benefiting right now, whether it's a miner selling off or some other uh, BS BTC whale that needs to dump or uh, some BTC whale moved a large amount of BTC. You know, they're going to find any news to make it the reason uh, for the dump. And I think everyone's just waiting. To, it's not. I mean, eventually BTC will go up, but as of right now, I am not feeling it. No analyst has called a bullish move, and if they have, I think they're just wild. And and maybe, and if they, if it is true, then we better be listening to that analyst because as of right now, even with my technical prowess, like I am not, I am not feeling this, guys. This is just not happening. And it's the same way with Ethereum. You guys know I've said the same thing yesterday. We saw the green candle come in, fake out 100%. No confirmations whatsoever. Continues to go sideways trading. Still 1631. I feel like I'm just repeating that price on Ethereum over and over and over again. It just never changes, Teddy. It just never changes. Oh, NW, what's going on? Bop, 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 bop. Oh, man. So BNB, we see two green candles coming in. We got the long. Still Indian oscillator uh, showing the bear sign. HARSI relatively in the at oversold getting there. Um, but we'll see. Uh, it ends up being what happens with CZ and Binance and the SEC. Other than that, I got very little uh to say unless it goes under 200 i ain't getting in as of right now uh but it's been close you know 210 i've saw a few of the goons picked it up uh so we are going to talk about xrp next a lot of you guys hey if you're still thinking it uh is this going to happen it is going to happen it is going to drop more uh i don't think there has been any positive sentiment we got the best positive sentiment we drove the price to 93 cents like even with the next positive sentiment even if it's not declared a security again i don't know if it's going to be enough to drive the price upward at this point you keep building out you still hold number five crypto right it's still the number five and we have to see um what ends up going on because that's really what it comes down to uh for xrp it's that adoption and they and they've been doing it even with the sec uh case against them Teddy, check your Wagme NFT price. Floor price is 1.34 ETH. Oh, dang. Really? I got to check. I got to check. I haven't checked. Oh, man. Maybe I should get out. I or get in. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me what I should do, Red Sox. Tell me what I should do. Um, so the main thing I want to talk about was, uh, Pepe, Shiba Inu, and Solana. I am going to talk about those. Uh, they have been trending upwards. Shout out to Shiba Inu. They got one green candle yesterday. They got another, uh, candle forming right now. Uh, we're going to see if this trend continues. If this truly is the bottom, I'm still, uh, bearish on it. Even with Shibarium, even with all those transactions coming in, I don't think it's going to drive this price up. I just don't see new money coming in. The volume is, uh, uh, not doing it. Teddy Hoddle. Okay. I'm going to hodl. Um, in my experience with the MF sixes, in my experience with the, M I'm not understanding what's being said, but it's probably slang. And I'm too dumb. Um, but one good thing, Shiba Inu for the short term, looking very positive. Uh, we haven't seen this in a little bit. So <clears throat> it's definitely showing uh, good. 
in my experience with nfts when i didn't sell i regret it dude i i know i like 1.34 eat this is the highest i've ever seen and i'm dude i have three of them should i sell at least one what do you think why hodl why hodl red sox tell me what changed tell me what changed all right so um the other one just real quick dogecoin i do want to hit on dogecoin uh we're now going into the third positive uh green candle that it closed out on but keep in mind the only thing that's going to help dogecoin and if you're in it right now it better be short term because other than x there's nothing else uh positive for dogecoin the devs are already gone no one's built or they are building on it and that utility is there but this is unlimited supply infinite supply right it just keeps on printing at some point um you're gonna have more dogecoin and the lp ratio is gonna be uh messed up but i i know there's a lot of ltc and dogecoin lovers out there that uses the same uh miner so we'll see we'll see um in, but in the end i i'm only looking for x and uh some type of adoption otherwise i'm not feeling doge so i did want to talk about pepe um and the reason is pepe has been uh, trying to hug uh 608 um right now we're at 6079 and uh, it's not bad not bad, not good, but not bad. Because um, what we're looking for is to see if they're going to get support here at the 608. Unfortunately, I think there's going to be no support. You guys already know if you've been watching, I have zero faith in Pepe. I There's no utility. The devs are already out. There is no reason for this token uh, to be at this price other than the community. Unless there's massive community, new money coming in, what sane individual in crypto is now going to look at Pepe and go, oh, yeah, let's get in? I don't think anybody. I think the run's over. I think we're going to slowly watch this deplete over time. Um, and I just feel very uh, bearish on it for the long term. I'm just not feeling it. There is no utility. There is no paid people. That The amount the company, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the organization that... Um, I don't even know what you want to call them. The Pepe Twitter holders now hold is far less. The devs are out. So uh, not feeling bullish on this one bit. Um, let me see here. So I talked about Pepe Crow. I saw Red Sox was here. Red Sox still waiting for this to dip below five cents. It did happen yesterday. I saw a few of you guys ate it up. Um, but, you know, if I do see that happen again, maybe I consider buying more. But first, I need ETH to make that happen. Um, bone continues to downtrend you know the ecosystem is just not uh showing positive sentiment for shiba inu i'm not trying to knock on it this is just the reality of utility driven uh ecosystems and sometimes even with the utility it won't help the price action for quite some time there needs to be a lot of catch-up that needs to be done for that utility to finally pay off for the token so we'll see what happens there um so solana 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 why solana 1901 right so we've charted solana quite some while back i continue to look at that 19 uh dollar markets rent right now hovering over 1967 62 uh yeah it's at 1961 now um so why we know that 19 dollars has been a heavy support for solana I have seen some positive news coming in for Solana, but I don't know if it is enough. So I know it's uh, done a reversal from this $19. I do feel it is going to um, go down. Uh, once it does, I do. I am looking at $15, but this is the thing. I've been wrong before because we've been down this path uh, when it was 21 once and uh, here and I thought it would retrace back again like it did previously right and it never did that it continued making positive sentiments so much positive news coming out uh, for Solana and now it's consolidated again and this is like repeat every time uh, Solana does this we've seen hacks we've seen so much uh, craziness for Solana that at this point you know if you know the max this token has reached is 260 and we're now trading at 1962 i mean is it a safe bet to dca in now just in case that next bull run comes in and somehow everyone switches to solana 
that's the thing, you know, Teddy, I will buy SEI. Yes, let's go, Trump. Teddy, we need Trump to win so we can sell those whack NFTs, bro. Bro, did you have do you have any season two? Uh, uh I'm all out of Pepe. Teddy, keep an eye in GFAL. Wait, tell me about GFAL during uh goon time so I can look it up. Wag me the soldiers will get free founders back. So that's the only reason. And uh in my I'm Canadian. My choices are both trans. What? I'm I'm confused. What does that have to do with being Canadian? Bro, you do you, bro. If you trans, it's all right. We're we're accepting goons here. But you know, sometimes uh telling the internet is not the right thing. You gotta seek the right avenues such as better help i hear they are very positive and they can help you um figure that stuff out so i don't know whether you're pre-op post-op or whatever in the trans um stage but good to know buddy good to know canadians are both i guess freaking nw man blowing my mind teddy i will sell my crow uh i mean right now crow is above above so maybe you should hold on uh, to see if you can buy some more before you sell. Or I don't know. Crow is one of those things when it has its pumps, it's very short, but it will have it. And then it'll just continue to downtrend. And we've seen that how many times? I, I don't even have to tell you. I can just show you, right? Don't hit me with the bear market, bro. The bear market BS, I, I don't even believe that. This has been downtrending um, even with the rewards. People were getting in at a dollar on crow look at them now bro five cents imagine you got in at a dollar my election candidates lol not me we don't got a trump or a kennedy oh okay okay sorry oh, okay oh canadia's election candidates are both trans wait what really wow look at you guys you're so um different Interesting. <laughs> I actually don't know. What are the election candidates' names, dude? Uh, yeah, so Crow, we talked about. Solana, we talked about. Let me see. Yeah, that was pretty much it for charts. I'm going to go over to what's new as well. Teddy, what's new? Teddy, what's new? What's new? What's new? What's new? So we got into boost yesterday at five cents. We're sitting at two zeros three. Uh, still trading, just uh, not a good move. So I must say uh, we got rocked and we uh, are probably out of this. But I'll keep it on the radar just in case there's that another pump. The next pump, Teddy, you'll see. We're going to make it all back. Uh, the other one being Pepper. Uh, you know, we've been charting this for quite some time. It's also downtrended as well. Uh, we got in at, I think, 4059 and we're at 4011. So we're down a little bit. We'll continue to see what happens there. I'm going over to the D-Gen. D-Gen. Um, so got rocked hard on this one. This was uh, FK Boost. Um, we got in quite up there. Uh, for some reason, my things aren't sticking when I do uh, get in on some charts. But uh, I want to say like close to six zeros or five zeros one. And now we're at seven zeros five three, so not a good uh, look for FK boost here. And the volume that it produced, you know, I expected so much more. Six uh, K liquidity, five K market cap, so it's got more LP than liquidity. So, yeah, interesting. Uh, share economics protocol S. They removed LP on us, and we got rocked hard. Uh, so another bad play. Imagine the last guy that threw in all these guys, man. They removed LP on them. Oof, that is tough. Another another rock out, man. Almost 16k to 8k they could have made. That's wild, bro. Teddy, let's look at SEI. Yeah, you want to look at SEI, Red Sox? Daddy, I want to look at SEI. Wait one second. We have to quickly uh, make sure we've gone through all of our uh, 
what's new because I don't want to miss out any DGENs that are trying to make it. So uh, what's came out in this last hour, we're just giving it a quick look through. This is a filter made by our very own SK, a member of the Triple G. So what we're doing is um, looking at liquidity, seeing if there's strong liquidity. We're also looking at volume to see how the volume is trading like this one. Look at this, 73K in liquidity, 3.9 million in volume, something called unibets.ai. Look at this, guys. He just keeps pumping. Some guy bought one ETH just now. Bought one ETH at 223K market cap. So let's get in there, 223K market cap. We're buying the tap. Teddy, we bought the tap, Teddy. Okay, buddy, we bought the tap. We're going to add this to our DGen. We're going to lock it. <coughs> oh, my God, I'm sorry. Ugh, I'm allergic to you guys. That's what happened. Uh, 10 season one Trump NFTs. 10 season two Trump NFTs. Bro, you have way more Trump NFTs than I do, dude. I already sold um mine to get my initials out you know and then i never bought season two because i tried i tried i tried and it just never happened oh man we bought the top and now it's retracing come on now come on now guys don't dump on me bro all right we'll see what happens we have it marked off uh all right let me see I'm looking at volume again, 3.9K, 40K, what's this one, Meerkat, Meerkat coin, I know Meerkat, Meerkat coin is like Crow, Crow had a Meerkat, what up Teddy and the goons, a little technical difficulties we hear, Coochie Boy, I was starting to worry about you man, what happened, where were you man? We were out here. We're trying to look at the next uh, big play, and here you are. Hey, 12K liquidity, 12K market cap. This is exactly where we want it. I'm getting right in. I can't lose from this point on. Don't rug me, Meerkat. All right, we're in on Meerkat. Let's just see what happens. This just came out. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to add this to our DGen list. And lock it. Lock it power. Bear. All right, let me just say one more look through. 15K elite bot. Uh, I don't know about you, elite bot. Free name coin. I don't know. Free name coin. Blockify. 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 30K market cap. 34K liquidity. Looking pretty healthy. We will get a Trump mugshot airdrop to all. We will get a Trump mugshot airdrop to all the NFT holders, bro. It's probably fake, dude. I don't trust that. And then you interact with it, and then boom, all your eats gone. Like, how huh, you got rocked? How do you feel? Uh -uh -uh. All right, I want to enter block file just to see what happened. We're in. We're in. All right, let me see. Yeah, I think that's it for what's new. I don't see anything else, re really. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, 60%. Oh, man, come on, come on, come on. Need to get it all back, buddy. I need to make it all back. Unibet's AI looking pretty good still. Oh, yeah. We making moves. We making moves. It's going up, Teddy. We'll see. People, people love. No, NW. I don't believe that. Coochie boy trying to get us freaking dusted, bro. Don't. I don't believe that. Show me the proof, Coochie boy. Show me the proof. Show me the proof. All right, I'm gonna go over to Goon Time here. We are freaking making headway. Goon Time is your time. This is where we look at anything you guys want, and I will give you my opinion. Uh, let me see here. I know someone said, check out GFAL. GF aims for a living. Hmm. One million liquidity. 
run the BSC. And they have some liquidity on Uniswap too. They're at one cent nine nine one. Yeah, it's pretty close. Even that arbitrage is very close, yeah. So for eleven. Yeah, but BSC, yeah, it looks like you have another all time high almost. Yeah. What the heck is Games for a Living? What do they do? What do they do? Tell me more. What is driving Games for a Living? Web3 gaming platform. Gamesforaliving.com Welcome to the Games for a Living Play the Future. Elemental Raiders. Diamond Dreams. Jump Pump. What the hell? Wait, so what? People just find random freaking games and they just like say they're play their Web3 games? What the hell? Uh, I'm just trying to see no jobs. Does this game actually work? Oh, yeah, get it on. So how is it Web3? Is this a regular freaking mobile game? What's Web3 about this? The coins? The coins you get? So people just make random Web3 games, and they just call it Web3 and put a little coin on there, and that's it? Is that what you're supposed to do? Co-founder CEO. Yeah, these guys aren't even docs, dude. Project Legends. Dang. This all came from G-Fall. G-Fall, Teddy. Games for a living, Teddy. All right. Interesting. What do you know about this dynastic wolf? Share us your secret. I hadn't talked to Trump. He's just going to sell them. For $99 to season three. <laughs> no, I was just asking, will we, lol? Oh, get out of here, Coochie Boy. You know he's not giving anything to you for free. You got to pay. You got to pay to play. This is Trump's way, bro. The only thing he's going to do is fire your ass. You're fired. You're fired, buddy. I'm sorry, Trump. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to make you the deals. The art of the deal. Oh boy. Uh yeah, so let's go check out some of those open sea things. You guys completely know my wallet, and you can go check it out yourself. If you're smart enough to find it, just go look, find my NFT, and then boom, you got my wallet. Uh let me see. Oh, snap. That's right. I sold all my Pepe, so I actually have ETH. But I, I actually have ETH, but I'm not doing anything with it. Uh, yeah, right. I thought Naka was another gala. Then I found out they turned anybody's game into Web3. They don't make games now. I'm curious. Yeah, so that's exactly what they're doing. I mean, if you looked at Gfall, uh, game, oh my God, I already forgot, game, games for a living. They just found games that already exist to add their little token in there. And they're saying, hey, yeah, now it's a Web3 game. Games for a Living is a Web3 gaming platform. All you have to do is freaking add, uh, add a little coin in there for the game, and that's it. You're a blockchain Web3 game now. I guess that's the thing. I, anyone can build a metaverse then <laughs> and call it Web3. Teddy, tell us the trick to sell without using ETH. You can't. You have to always use ETH. There's no trick. You have to always use ETH, buddy. I always use ETH. We're gonna make it all back. We're gonna make it all back. <laughs> Dude, I keep telling myself that. When is it gonna come true, man? When is it gonna come true? Alright, let's go look at my profile. I don't even remember what I have. Uh, I have one grand on here. Oh, wow. All right, let me see. Profile. All right, so I got this stuff. Dude, this is worth like nothing, bro. Oh, I have four of this stuff, bro. What do I get? What do I get? Red Sox, tell me what I get. 
this is my wag me uh they all pretty much look the same except the betrayal on here is way more the betrayal but this is my best one 0.03 okay 0.56 oh dang number 27 top five percent teddy you're the top five percent teddy okay okay all right, we got number 380, best offer 0. 0.17. Oh, wrecked. 0. 0.14, 0. 0.16, 0. 0.15. Are these really this bad? Bro, what? List for sale. Wait, let's see. Top trade 0. 0.45. Okay, that's not bad. That's like, that's not bad. Top trade 0. 0.45. Okay, so that's, let's say that's half an ETH there. Come on, Teddy. Now you're just rounding up, buddy. All right, so half an ETH there. List for sale. Top trade, another 0.45. So, like, what? That's, like, 0.9 right there. All right, so list for sale. Another 0.45. List for sale. 0.3. So, 9 plus 0.45. 1.3. Uh, plus 3. So one point seven list for sale point five five so two point oh dang wait I have like two point three ETH wait what the hell yeah I really do I have two point three ETH worth of freaking Trump to of Trump NFTs I didn't even realize. We're going to make it all back, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. Okay, so we can actually sell these and and make money, boys. Let's see. How we doing? We making moves? Are people buying? Uh, activity. Yeah, yeah, People only buy the floor. There's no one doing monster moves. I want the, I want the top 1%, Teddy. And you guess I just thought, oh, wait, this guy bought a point to it. He spent almost $500. Crazy guy. Crazy guy right here. Whew. He needed that. He needed that, Teddy. This guy, number 380, 0.35. Dude, it's gone up. Okay, it says he basically sold it for the trade price all right interesting all right all right all right we're done we're done all right teddy you got you got trump cards good job buddy you made it buddy you're gonna make it all back buddy he's not gonna make it all back that's the secret should know the old collection oh slate to earn is that still a thing can you still play this slate to earn ethereum uh, 3D apes. Remember all these 3D apes? Okay, so what's the other one? Oh, man, I have such good updates for my NFTs coming so soon. I can't wait. I can't wait to share them. I just need to make sure everyone is down that wants to partner before I release anything. And then we will... Okay, so here's the Wagme ones. I think these are my Wagme ones. All right, Teddy, show me the ma show me the magic. Legacy disabled. Ah, oh, wrecked. Disabled, bro. Why is this disabled? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Mm. This collection has been moved to an upgraded contract. For more information, please visit... To claim your new NFTs, instructions are provided within Medium. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I got to go claim new NFTs. Connect wallet. Wag me games. I don't know about this. Red Sox. Wag me games dashboard dot com slash dashboard. Let's read. How to migrate to the new contract. Visit Wag me. Connect your NFT. Find the claim Genesis NFT button. All right, boys, let's lose it all together. Teddy, you're about to lose all your money. Don't connect, Teddy. This is it, Teddy. This is how you lose all your money, Teddy. Oh, no, Teddy, you connected. <sighs> all right, so let me see. 
uh, okay, so once connected, you'll find a claim Genesis NFT button. Click on it. Genesis claiming? Claim. Claim Genesis claiming? Claim Genesis NFT? Claim Genesis NFT button. I see it. Click on it. All right, clicked. All right, today, let's lose it all, buddy. All right, guys, I'm doing this on stream, so uh, wag me if I do anything wrong. You can come after me and be like, Teddy, you weren't supposed to press the button, and that was the wrong URL, and be like, bro, I got this URL from your freaking uh, thing, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, so it says I have it, transaction successful. Okay, now what? Comic book locking. Multi-lock. Claim multi-coupons. Locked, unlocked, locked, unlocked. Wait, what? These are my comic books, bros. What happens if I claim, if I lock them? Multi-lock? Claim multi-coupons? I don't know about this. All right, so is that it? The number of V1 Genesis entries that are held in your wallet will determine the quantity you can claim. The process is automated, so everything will happen automatically. Confirm the transaction in your wallet, and the V2 Genesis MP should be in your wallet. Slight gas fee required. No, man. I paid like $9 in gas, all right? All right, so I think I got it, right? So how do I actually... How do I... How do I... Yeah, yeah. Where where do I actually find my uh did they airdrop it to me? Let's see. Did it airdrop it to me? Oh snap, it got airdropped to me. 0.76 ETH best offer. Alright, so are these my new ones now. These are your new ones, Teddy. These owned by you, Teddy. Dudes, freaking people are trying to get 1.52 ETH. What the hell? Dude, my freaking bodies were two ETH, bro. You get the hell out of here. Two ETH. I can get two ETH for this, bro. How much is this? 15 ETH. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Bro, I can get 15 ETH for this. I can get 15. Imagine. Imagine 15 ETH. Look at this floor price. You kidding me, dude? List for sale. You think I'm going to get 15 ETH top trait? 15 ETH? 15 ETH, bro. Bro, if I get 15 ETH, I mean, come on. At that point, 20 grand sell? Claim, Teddy. Claim, Teddy. Just don't hit it. Bro, I'm about to, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to this, bro. If I get 15 ETH for this BS, someone's uh, buying it, you know? I mean, I may even go down to 10 ETH at this point just to see. <laughs> Oh my god, 15 ETH versus 14 ETH. Oh man. All right, let's do it. Let's put it up there. Let's see what happens. All right, Teddy. Once it's there, your NFT may be at risk. What the hell? You need to approve each collection once. Okay, yeah. <sighs> sell cody what's going on cody nice to see you triple g's triple g's bro we're about to uh uh make some 15 eth right here bro let's uh, we'll see if i if i come onto the stream tomorrow 15 eth richer <laughs> you know something happened bro this listing is paying the collection here there's this what there's suggested creator earnings, supports creator. What the hell? I don't care about the creator. I care about my 15 ETH, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, creator. Thank you. All right. Let's see for this one. Bro, yeah. What the hell? Only my other one has 15 ETH. Why is that one worth 15 ETH? Should I not have sold that for 15 ETH? Because it's like a double. Circuit 2%, 3%. 2% circuit green lights, the eyes and the arms. Oh, and it's signed. Wait, are they all signed? They're all signed. Get the hell out of here. This means nothing to me. 
All right, maybe I'll keep the girl. Should I sell this guy? 2.5 ETH. 4.8 ETH. Bro, are people just like holding on to this? 4.8 ETH floor. I'll list this for like 4 ETH. See what happens. There's no way, dude. I just ain't buying this. It's Klingon War Armor demands 15 ETH. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god, we better be smoking this like button mad hard right now, guys. Have you smoked that like button already? Make sure you smoke it again and again and again for good measure. We're trying to figure out if we really have 15 ETH worth of... This is... I mean, what makes this 15 ETH, bro? Like, come on. Floor price 1.34. Dude, wall you even. What the hell? Green... No, it's not 15 ETH. This is like the only guy that's listed it. That's why. Oh, you almost had me, bro. Maybe I should change mine and list it lower. And just be like, yeah, man, mine's 15 ETH. No, maybe these are listed for 15. What does this guy know that I don't know? What do you know, sir? What do you know? What the hell? Dude, now you got me freaking rocked, bro. Now I don't know. What the hell? Five ETH? What? I didn't even see this guy before. Was this a guy ever in there? Game Warrior? Wag me Game Warrior? Is this truly worth? What's going on? What happened? Oh, it's time. My wife Sarah says, yeah, you're over your time. They... Uh, YouTube metrics won't like that. You're going over your time. Um, it's the special powers, bro. Nobody will buy that. Bro, I literally just seen it. I have NFTs that are worth 1.34 ETH floor price. So I have 3 ETH. So I have 3K, 4K, 5K worth of these NFTs. Trying to figure out if I should sell them or hold on to them. I listed one for 15 ETH for twenty eight twenty five thousand dollars We're going to make it all back. We're going to make it all back. Yo, if you guys are down to make it all back, make sure you subscribe. Smoke that like button. Guys, I do have to go. It is hump day. I got, will be back tomorrow. Uh, my baby is here. Let's say hi, baby. She's got a carrot. Hello, baby. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to make it all back. We're going to sell that 15 ETH Wag Me NFT. Make sure you uh, tag all the Wag Me guys. Tell them, yeah, Teddy listed his for 15 ETH. Make it happen. Make it happen. Um, yeah, so other fun news. My baby is standing up by herself without anyone holding. So for more than 30 seconds, it has been quite entertaining uh, to watch. And we'll see. It's also alarming. Because sometimes she makes some heavy falls. All right, guys, I'm out. Stay safe. Stay strong. Ooh. I forgot. I can't just yell, can I? Hi. Stay strong. Um, what is it? Don't get rug pulled. And most importantly of all, don't. Don't be a hero. Just don't do it. There's no need. Don't get rug pulled. Yeah, don't get rap Yeah, don't get rap Yeah, don't get rap Yeah, yeah, get informed, get informed, get informed.